We're not starting until Lonnie's ready. I understand. Uh, good morning and welcome to our briefing. We have a couple of topics we'll cover and open it up for questions here in a moment. But uh, understanding that there's no shortage of hot weather in sight right now, it's still a, the ozone season. And so we still want to provide some tips on how we can combat the harmful pollutant that uh, can build up this time of year. So keeping Wichita's ozone levels under EPA standards is still important for our personal health and and all of those individuals that are especially sensitive to it. So to help the ozone levels stay low, there's a couple of things we want to remind people that you can use um, public transit. Carpooling is also a great option. Uh, reducing energy use wherever you can. Certainly reducing idling time when you are sitting at drive-through rest, uh, restaurants, pharmacies, banks, and, and at railroad crossings. Um, we recommend that you turn off your car when you're parked at a railroad crossing waiting for the train to pass. Postponing some of those errands and even mowing until later in the evening is also helpful that, um, because it takes um, obviously heat to mix with the, the harmful chemicals to produce it. So even little things like fueling your car after the sun goes down can make a difference. So by selecting some of these actions, you can help improve our uh, community's air quality. And if you're looking for more information on uh, ground level ozone, you can check our daily air quality forecast or just like to stay engaged during ozone season. You can do that in a variety of ways. Visit beawarekansas.org. Sign up for ozone alerts issued when there's a risk of high ozone. Follow Beware Kansas on Instagram for daily ozone forecast. Join the new Be Aware Aware Kansas Facebook group located through the city's Facebook page. Or you can visit wichita.gov slash ozone for more information on air quality. We also will have continuous updates on City 7, our Cox Cable Channel 7. So o ozone season again runs from March 1st through October 31st. And so we're not out of ozone season. Did I miss anything, Bailey, our ozone expert? I think that you covered it all there. Thank you very much. If you have any tough questions, Bailey's happy to answer those here in just a moment. And I would uh, remind people that our water rebate program is still in effect. We have money left in the water program. We've distributed about $50,000 so far. So we still have, uh, actually $50,914.23. No, not the 23 cents, $50,914. So we still have $49,085 left that we can distribute. The list of qualifying items are available at wichita.gov and savewichitawater.com. And so we'd encourage those that would like to take advantage of some water saving devices and save money at the same time, please visit those sites that are available and at that we'll open it up for questions. Hello, Mayor. I have two questions. One on the ozone. We are not under alert. This is just a uh, just precautionary a measure. So we want to continue to be as proactive as we can be. We've been fortunate through a number of um, campaigns that we've been running over the last several years and being more proactive, we've lowered our levels. And the way that they put you under um, potential uh, out of attainment is you have to reach above those levels. And then um, if you can stay under those levels for three years in a row, we're, we're in a good situation. And right now we're in that situation. So we have not, um, for, for over the past three years, we've not been out of attainment or above those levels. And so it looks good, but we don't want to take anything to chance or leave anything to chance. We want to continue to be proactive. Excellent. And on the second topic, on the appliances, can you explain or give some specific examples of how this could translate into savings for Wichita families? So you can, you can purchase uh, appliances like low-flow toilets. You can uh, purchase um, 
appliances like uh, washing machines that use less water. We have um, a variety of ways that you can save. You can put sensors on, on your uh, water system. And I'm sure there's some others I'm missing out. So if you go to that website, there's multiple ways that you can save water. Uh, I believe you can purchase some rain barrels to capture water runoff that uh, you can then get reimbursed for. And so there's a number of ways that we encourage people to save water, capture water, be more responsible with water. And, and, and again, it's working. We're, we're reducing our commitment there and um, making people more aware and they're taking advantage of it and saving money. And it's, it's not just the savings that you get from the rebate. When you purchase a low flow toilet or a washing machine that uses less water, that's savings that you get to experience year round. The benefits, not just for families, but also for the community, the city. The so the benefits system. are both to the community and, and for families, and, and uh, we encourage more people to take advantage of that. Green scooters out here, is that the new? So we do have a, a new scooter uh, company that has moved into Wichita, and I don't, Megan, what is their name? VO Ride has brought in their scooters, and so we will continue with the pilot program that's, uh, that's in place right now. I believe there's a third scooter company that will be coming in also before this pilot finishes, and, and then we'll assess it at some point in the future to make sure that it's a program that's worth keeping. Any other questions? A follow-up to the scooters, what has been the reaction from the community? Um, so, so the reaction's been mixed. I think there was an issue, obviously, early on that people weren't abiding by the rules, and there was a real safety concern, and, um, you know, we want the scooters to be something that the community can have access to, and the intention was originally to be another tool for those without vehicles, and it could be uh, co a complement to city transit. Oftentimes you hear scooters being first mile and last mile on public transportation. And, and so we still have hopes that people will utilize them responsibly. Um, but certainly it's been mixed. There's been some people that have really enjoyed them. There's been some real concerns. And, and we'll evaluate all of that uh, at the end of this pilot and, and see if we should continue. We want to make sure that we have something that the community can feel good about and feel safe, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and we'll, we'll do that evaluation at a later time. Thank you all. Appreciate you coming today, and um, we want all of you to be safe out there. Go get your low-flow low flow toilets.